How are we all doing, everybody? I hope we are feeling positive after the recent disappointment of that 3-0 defeat to Atalanta. Uh, we were poor, we were lacklustre, but I'm not going to go into it. If you want me to go into it, you know, you know which video to check out. My player ratings from last time, which has had some impact on today's video where we're going to be looking at the lineups, uh, the players who are coming back, the players who are missing, and also our recent form against Crystal Palace. So make sure you click through to whatever bit is most interesting to you. If you're here for the lineups, it's towards the end of the video. Um, players most like to play given the recent performances and also players coming back. Quite a few changes once again. I know Klopp made like six changes last in the week against Atalanta. So there's going to be changes again to fix and rectify that awful, awful performance. But anyways, getting on into how we have performed against Crystal Palace in the last five games, it's a positive-ish kind of look. Um, we have drawn two, we have won three. We haven't been beaten in our last five. The most recent result was this season, obviously, and we won 2-1 at Selhurst Park. Then we had a couple of draws um, previously and then comfortable 3-1 and 3-0 wins. And before that, you know, was when we actually went and won like 7-0 or something at Selhurst Park. Uh, a, a great day. Um, but that then led to us going on a losing streak after, which was quite crazy. Um, so, yeah, recently we've not been too bad against Crystal Palace. They can be a thorn on our side. If we remember the 2014 trans, uh, transfer battle, no, title race, uh, it was Crystal Palace who we dropped two points to, winning 3-0 drawing free all by the end of it um i remember being in pain on that day hopefully we'll have a better day today um so who is coming back into the liverpool side well still missing tiago doke and matip um long-term injuries we all know that tiago and matip will they ever play for us again i'm not sure it's not looking too likely at this point let's not lie doubts now i put stefan by he is fit brilliant um, however, he has been uh, playing for the under-23s or under-21s. I'm not sure which it was. He recently featured in Liverpool's 3-0 win over Manchester United in that. Um, so, he's uh, not going to be fit. That was on Friday night. Um, the likeliness of him playing, very, very slim, I'd say. He might be on the bench just to be there, part of the squad. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if he's not in favour of someone like McConnell. Uh, or, or something along that lines, you know. Uh, people have been regularly on the bench this season. The positives, returning player. Now, I put Curtis Jones in here. Obviously, he did start against Atalanta. He was quite poor. Um, he got dragged up at half-time. Obviously, he had recently come back from injury. Um, so, there was probably a little bit of everything in that. Uh, Trent Alexander-Arnold didn't get to play. He wasn't ready, in Jurgen Klopp's own words. Trent was not ready. He was only there because we have a 23-man squad to take to the match. Um... Will he start this weekend? With that in mind, probably not. I'd say Connor Bradley, but you might see some minutes for Trent Alexander-Arnold. And then the other two people returning are Alisson and Jota. Now, I do think Alisson may be ready to start. Callagher had a bit of a stinker against Atalanta. I think he should have done better with two of the goals. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see Alisson reclaim his spot. Um, not like he wasn't going to do it anyway when he got back from injury because of the quality that he is. And Diego Jota... Uh, came on, looked pretty sharp for 20 minutes or so. Maybe could have scored a goal, but it's his first match in however long, and he looks sharper than the other players at least. Um, so I'm not going to complain too much about his performance. Will he start? I don't think so. Probably a bit more of a game this time, half hour, 40 minutes, you know, depending on how the game's going. Um, likely to see. And then next week, moving on, I would be very surprised, as long as he's fit, if we don't see him starting against Atalanta. So let me get into the... Full lineup that I think we will go with for this game. In goal, Allison, as I've already pointed out, I think it is time for him to come back. So long as he's fit and ready, it has to be him. He is the best goalkeeper in the world. Um, back four, strength. Now, I don't think it was an insane uh, performance against Atalanta defensively. I think it was all over the place. However, I have gone with two of the starting four still. The two centre-backs, Canate and Van Dijk. We could see Kwanzaa. Um, it, it's a coin toss. To be honest, my heart probably says it's going to be Kwanzaa. Uh, my head says it's Kwanzaa, sorry, but my heart, I love Kanata. I think he's brilliant. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see him. Um, the right back and left back, Andy Robertson and uh, Connor Bradley. I mean, like I said, Trent just coming back, probably see him as a sub. Uh, and Andy Robertson, well, with Simicast and Joe Gomez's performances in the week, 
I'd be shocked if they play. Um, the midfield three, Endo, McAllister, Sabozla. Back to the strongest three that we have. Um, no reason not to. Were they brilliant in midweek? No, but the whole team was off and you can't change absolutely everything. Uh, Harvey Elliott could come in, maybe, and I'd be okay with that. But I do think Curtis Jones shouldn't be uh, starting. Or even Ryan Granberg. Who knows? Um, then the front three, Mo Salah, Luis Diaz, and I've gone for Cody Gakpo up front. Now, oh, no Nunes? What? No, well, li listen, he's not had the best of form recently. He's missed a few game, a uh, few chances in the games. Um, maybe a sub, maybe a rest. You know, is what he needs a little bit of. He has been carrying us at times this season with his running. He's been relentless. He's been brilliant, uh, and we all love him. But this could be a time where Cody Gakpo is coming into a bit of form. Diego Jota's coming back. Um, that could be good, really good for Nunes, um, just to get a rest and also have a bit of the pressure taken off him as well with players like Jota. And I, like I say, Gakpo in my opinion, was by far the best player in the uh, Atalanta game for us. Um, he's looked positive against Sheffield and Manchester United when he's come on. So I think, honestly, he deserves the start in this game. Um, but yeah, that, that's going to do it. I suppose one thing I'll end up with is my prediction. Um, I don't normally do this, but I always get asked it and I always end up answering it anyway. I actually think it's going to be a game where we rectify our mistakes and have a positive outcome. So I'm going to say 3-0. Now, I don't normally say that we're going to get a clean sheet. But I think that Jürgen will have really, really drilled them hard. And I don't think we're going to let anything go in this game. Um, so, yeah. 3-0 is what I am saying as my prediction. Let me know what yours are in the comments down below. Let me know what you would change to the lineup. And, um, yeah, if you're new, make sure you whack that subscribe button. Uh, absolutely smashing it lately. Loving the support. I will see you all for the game, of course, tomorrow at 2pm. And uh, until then, peace.